Is there a place for repentance in the holy life? The simple answer is, oh yes. But we've got to think carefully about the implications of that answer. In the Wesleyan understanding of the Christian life, there's a natural point at which we, in our growth in faith, come to a place where we want to say, I want to be all gods. I want to be everything that my Savior would want me to be. And in that moment of complete surrender of the will, God comes in the person of His Holy Spirit and fills us and enables us to live a life like God's. That's the holy life. There is no holiness in us. We become holy because, like the dirt around the burning bush, we are in direct proximity to the Holy One. But what does that mean? Well, among other things, it means that we now are enabled to live to please God. That's our goal. That's our purpose. We now are, in the words of the Old Testament, enabled to be of one heart, a heart that is all His. Well, you say, if that were true, then surely you would never sin. You would be unable to sin. But no, that's not what John Wesley taught. It's not what the Bible teaches. And it's not what those of us who follow Wesley should be teaching. What does it mean? Well, let me try to illustrate it with marriage. Karen and I have been married for her sins 55 years. In that time, I have been all hers. I have been enabled to live a life that was faithful to her. But suppose I were to say as I go out the door in the morning, well, Karen, you know I love you, and I know you love me, but you know what? I'm just a guy, so probably I'll flirt with some girls today, and if I find some willing, I might even kiss one or two, and you know, if they're really willing, I, I might go to bed with them. But don't feel bad. I love you. I hope she'd slug me. No, I'm hers, all hers. She's stuck with me, poor girl, like it or not. That's what the holy life is about. The holy life is about being able to belong completely to God, without a rival, without a limit. But if that's true in Karen's and my relationship, that means, of course, that I never do anything that hurts her or offends her. <laughs> Sorry, that's not true. So far as I know, I have never said to her, I'm going to do what I want and I don't care what you want. By God's grace, that hasn't happened. But oh my, there have been a myriad of times when not meaning to hurt her or offend her, I have. There have been times when I did not think of how this particular action might affect our relationship, but simply proceeded on the way, not thinking. I think that's analogous to our relationship with our Father. Yes, He can enable us to live day by day for Him, without a limit, without a rival. He can enable us to live with a constant purpose and intention, I want to do what pleases you. So then, when I go into some churches and hear a litany of confession in which the congregation is led to say, oh yes, this week I have sinned against you intentionally and willfully, but please forgive me until I come back next week with the same litany. Dear God, would I say that to Karen? No. So if I would be able in my humanness to say that, to not have to say that to Karen, why should we not in the power of the Holy Spirit be enabled not to have to say it to God? But I come back. Is there a place for repentance? 
Oh, yes. This is where the biblical understanding of sin is so significant. There is sin with a high hand. I'm going to do what I want and I don't care what you want. And there is unintentional, or as the King James says, unwitting sin. Yes, yes. The holy life does not mean a life of perfect performance. The holy life means we are all gods. We are for Him. But in that life, there is a place every Sunday for me to say, Oh God, I'm sure in my ignorance, I'm sure in the depths of my subconscious, there are places where I have offended you this week, where I have hurt you where I have fallen short of what an all-consuming love ought to mean. And I repent. I repent in dust and ashes. And I pray that you'll enable me, as I understand more deeply what this love relationship means, to enable your spirit to go deeper and deeper into my being, that I may hurt you or offend you less and less. Is there repentance in the holy life? Oh, yes. But at the same time, there is the wonderful possibility of laying your head on the pillow at night with a clear conscience. I'm yours, all yours.